Wednesday morning. Uh, God bless you guys. Hey, weather's going back and forth, isn't it? <laughs> you guys make sure you keep yourself uh, healthy, wealthy, and wise, all right? Speak some things over yourself every day, all day if you have to. Fight with your mouth. It's one of the most important tools that you and I have when it comes to, as Paul said, diving into uh, this new life, the resurrection life, uh, so that our new life and identity uh, causes us to excel in life. One of the first things that you will find that happens there is that you will learn to use your mouth wisely, okay? Uh, when we go into uh, new seasons, when we're going into uh, revealings that God has brought forth to us, when we come out of trouble, in fact, I'll tell you it's like this, when you're in the midst of trouble, most of the time it is to fix your mouth because you have to learn to say what's right so that you can get what's right. And a lot of times when people are sick, they don't, they don't say any things about, you know, I'm well, I'm healthy, any disease that touches this body dies and whatever. Even though they're in pain, you still have to say things to change things. This is our, this is our privilege as a speaking spirit, that God gives us the privilege to speak in faith what we know. And so uh, you will notice that, in fact, come on, go with me to the book of Job. Because this is what Paul was talking about, uh, some of what he was talking about when he, when he was saying about coming into uh, or dropping all that he had known or losing all that he had for the excellency of Christ because he wanted to, he wanted to live that way. And you know that Paul in his beginning years, I mean, he crucified the church, man. He was after the church, you know, and whatever. And then he had to change what he was doing and change what he was saying. Instead of cursing him, now he had to bless, you know. And when he started blessing, things started changing for him. And that's what you and I need to know. When we are going through things, most of the time, and we're talking about kingdom rulership now, we're talking about being able to rule the way kingdomship rules, okay? Most of the time, this thing right here, that's right, that thing right under your nose that operates every day in so many words it speaks, you have to learn to, to gain control over that and speak the things that God say so that you can have a new life and a new identity, all right? If you'll notice, and you don't, you don't have to read all of this today, uh, but you can read it in your time, because there are a couple of times uh, that this happens throughout Scripture, but you'll notice that Job had some friends that came to him that did not say things that were really good for Job, okay? And Job, and this is in, in and when you read chapter 42 of the book of Job, you'll see exactly what I'm explaining to you here. After the Lord showed up and expressed things to Job, Job had to pray for his friends, right? His mouth had to be right, even for those who had talked against him. His mouth had to be right in order for God to change the circumstances. You read about Joseph, you'll find out that when Joseph's brothers shows up after the famine had started, Joseph started playing these games with him, you know, but Joseph had to get his mouth right. And in chapter 50, uh, the book of Genesis, you'll notice that, that Joseph told his brethren, he said, what you meant for evil, God meant for good. He had his mouth right. And he would not curse them, but bless them. All right? Well, Jesus did the same thing. When they beat him, stripped him, whipped him, whatever, the only thing he said on the cross was, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. See, going through all the trouble and stuff helps you to get control of this thing that you want to speak your end, not where you are, your beginning. And so doing that, our faith walk helps us to do that. Now I want you to come on, go with me too. And please read the 42nd uh, chapter of the book of Job. Now I need you to go with me to 1 John. All right, book of 1 John. All right, that's 1 John. It's not Big John. This is way over here, right after the book of Peter. After the book of 2 Peter, okay? Now we get into this. Now I, I said those things to you because, you know, we don't, we don't have five hours to sit here and go through all these things about confessions, but your mouth must be in order. As Paul said, I count everything that I've ever known, and he was a very wise person, in the law and everything. 
All right. He said, I've counted all of that done just to know Jesus Christ and his resurrection, the power of his resurrection. All right. He knew that there was tremendous change, even which had taken place in his life. Uh, from the way he used to say things until the way he was saying things now, okay? Now, we get into 1 John chapter 5, all right? And we're going to uh, verse 4 because we're talking about kingdom rulership, walking in it. See, some people dare believe like this. Well, if the Lord wanted me to have it, he would give it to me. Are you crazy? We just read Romans 8.32, all right? Well, if the Lord wanted me to fly, he would have given me wings. People who would dare get on a plane. <laughs> if the Lord wanted me to have this, if the Lord wanted me to be this, he would have did this. Come on now. You have to understand, God made man and gave him dominion, but he didn't build the bridges across rivers. He didn't build the cities. Huh? Come on now, talk to me. See, God left things up to us because of who, who he created us to be. All right? And he put creation in us, the ability to create in us, and that ability comes through words, okay? First technology of the universe, words. God said, God said, God said, okay? Verse 4, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. So we see that, that automatically overcoming is a part of your wonderful life. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, all right? Even our faith or our faith. Okay? He, who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. See, this is the set order of being able to, to stand in kingdom dominion and to begin to speak things and to declare things and to bring things, to release things that hinder, uh, to bring in things, to press into action that causes us to live right, to to say I'm a mature person instead of always saying, you know, I'm a sinner saved by grace, or I'm a baby this, or I'm trying, or I'm working on getting my getting to heaven and all those things. You should be declaring that you are a mature person in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you have the mind of Christ. You should be declaring and, and saying certain things about yourself every day. I am the, the raised up. I'm the one that the Lord looked upon and gave mercy. And I am the healed. And I am the one he opened his hands to and gave and satisfied my life. I am the one. You know, you have to say things about yourself. Because you believe you before you believe anybody else. That's right. You'll always believe you before you believe anyone else. And so take the time today to understand that it's your faith that overcomes the world. And as we use our faith and the things that we hear, you know, God's opening up all kinds of, of avenues and, and blessings and opportunities in these days. And we need to be able to, to express those things and walk in those things by declaring that those things are ours and receiving those things. Amen? Hang with us tight. We'll see you tomorrow morning here on Daily Bread. Amen. Have a great day.